father for that, isn't it? Sri, uh, so now that it did not get to the majority, will you all try again? Well, it has taken us 43 <coughs> years since 1976 to do it. I don't know whether we are going to wait for another 43 years uh, for this amendment. A golden opportunity has been given. It, uh, it is missed. They miss it. They miss the board. So I, I, I think only blame is to them. They didn't want it, the GPS-19. If GPS-19 had come on board, uh, you don't forget about their feelings of uh, whatever geographical feeling, ka, inika, itu ka, you know, use their head. We would have seen the amendment and we would be back to 1963 as what our forefather had wanted Malaysia to be. There won't be any amendments in the I don't know. I hope it will happen during my lifetime here in Parliament or during my lifetime, right? Some, some are saying that uh, they wanted the Jawatan Kwasa has to be concluded first, only then. You see, the, the Jawatan Kwasa has to be concluded. The reason they wanted that to be concluded because they were not in the Jawatan Kwasa. I recognize the fact the Jatan Kosa House Cabinet did not include any members of Parliament. I recognize that. So I discussed with Tun. Tun agreed to set up the Jatan Kosa for that particular issue uh, on the on the Malaysian Agreement 1963 to make jadi pengurusi. We added include all the MPs from Sabah and Sarawak. I uh, added that the the chairman of that Jatan Kosa we will invite to come on board to the uh, Jawatan Kuasa Khas Cabinet. So that apa-apa rapuran daripada Jawatan Kuasa uh, Khas Parliament ini, mereka boleh uh, transfer or and then convey whatever information to the Jawatan Kuasa Khas Cabinet. So I think that is that is a, a very good uh, proposal to them. And they, of course, uh, rejected it uh, for reason best known to them. Lah.